Hello everybody, Lego Bro here, and we're back on the Command Block Crash Course world. Today I've got something pretty cool to show you. It's a way of creating armor sets within the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on this little uh, command block thing. And that just gives me these leather boots that I can drop as many as I want and it keeps uh, throwing them on the ground. So it constantly re constantly replaces them. And next thing I'm, I'm going to do is turn this on. And this adds a few objectives. I'll show you everything later. And I'm going to show you the different tiers of armor. So I'd say my favorite would probably be the archer set. So I'll show that one last. So you notice you don't get the full set until I put on the last piece. You'll see my uh, uh, field of vision change. That's because I get the speed buff. So when I've got all other armor, because it's lightweight, it gives me extra speed, extra, and extra attack speed. And this thing's not too bad. So I'm going to summon a creeper over there. And you'll see the uh, relative quickness, uh, how quickly I swing an axe compared to normal. You can see how slow that is. And then when I put the chest plate on, it's a fair bit faster. So maybe with the leather armor set, you would have more of a... Uh, weaker but or you'd have a high damage but low uh, attack speed type weapon because it increases your attack speed uh, the next one let's go to the diamond set uh, in this one I guess I'll grab that sword this one gives you additional uh, knockback resistance and it's uh, extra tough extra armor and extra armor toughness and that just makes you very resistant but it does get, come with the penalty of slowness so you can see I barely took any damage there I'm gonna eat this piece of steak um, so that's a, that set's pretty self-explanatory and then we've got the gold set which just gives you extra health and that's that's pretty much all the gold set does so nothing too fancy with the gold set it just looks pretty cool and then uh, fourth is the iron set which gives you extra attack damage and uh, a little bit of armor toughness which is pretty unique for this for iron armor so you can see I can one shot a creeper now and I can two shot with a sword without even getting criticals which is pretty cool and then finally the hardest class to create I, I guess these aren't classes they're more uh, armor sets that's what they're called so you have get this chain and this is just the archer set and you get extra speed and arrows are refunded upon kill so if I summon let's just summon a couple creepers I look over there at that creeper and you can see my arrows return back to 32 and this is only upon a kill so if I Shoot a rather a weak one. And then I get it back. And this is pretty cool because it doesn't work with melee kills. As you can see there. And so now I'm going to show you how all of this works. I'm going to take all this off. And go into creative. I'm actually going to just break the chest and clear my inventory. So there's four, no, there's three objectives. And I forgot to show you. 
I'll show you after that actually. So we've got armor set and I actually set that to list. So when I hit tab, it shows the list. And then we've got the other two are just for the not bow for the getting the arrows back. So you've got no not bow damage, stat dot damage dealt, and bow kill, total kill count. And this is just to remove the objectives. So I can remove them. And then these four are for the armors or for the uh, arrow refunds, and then these are for the others. So this is just the default leather boots. And in fact, I could actually just make this uh, air if I wanted to, which would make more sense. But I'm doing leather boots just to s so people don't like craft boots maybe or something. And then after that, it sets all players armor set to zero. And the armor set is what pretty much detects what armor you have. And so with this system, you can't mix and match armor to get set bonuses, as you can see here. So it's got... It uh, sets your armor set 1 if your slot of 103, which is your head slot, is a leather helmet. And then if it's armor set is 1, and only 1, it sets it to 2 if there's a leather chest plate in your chest slot and it does the same thing with leather leggings for the leg slot and if it's two and only two it sets it to three and so if it is three uh, all the way back here min equals three and then equals three it changes or it replaces the item leather boots with the attribute attribute modifiers and this does it's the same thing for all of the classes and this is pretty cool it's easy easy way to give different sets of armor buffs and debuffs and also it makes it more interesting and what's cool about this you don't have to just use the default five tiers of armor you can make more tiers more interesting stuff with the armor of course it's not necessary but it's this is proof of concept as most of my videos are so I'm going to show you how to do the refund arrow thing now and so this is scoreboard command which sets all players who has not bow damage min equals one to bow kill zero and what this does, since uh, not bow damage is stat dot damage dealt, I'll show you real quick. Uh, actually, let's grab something better, like a creeper, sure. So if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar not bow damage, and I punch a creeper, oh, I have to turn this off actually. You can see it gets put to, it goes up 10 every time. And that's, 10's like half a heart pretty much. What's interesting though, is that when I shoot something with a bow, it does not rise. So I'm gonna, I use this to my advantage to detect whether somebody's getting a kill with or without a bow. So, this sets it if you if you hit something with a sword maybe you killed it maybe not but it sets your bow kill to zero and bow kill is just your normal kill um that's damage and also if your damage is greater than or equal to one it sets it back to zero and then after that it says it detects pretty much whether or not you have killed something and you are your armor set is nine which is the third set of armor which is the uh, arrow set pretty much and then after that it sets your bow kill back to zero so let's say you killed something with a sword and this is uh, bow kill is one 
but because of this command it sets it back to zero but if you kill it with a bow it changes from it doesn't it can't set it because your not bow damage is still zero so this changes to this doesn't do anything and then it then it can give you the arrow and that's just kind of an interesting proof of concept so I hope you find this interesting and maybe useful uh, it's kind of inspiring me a little bit to make some sort of dungeon type map I don't I'll see how that goes maybe but I think that's about it thanks for watching and as always have a great day see you guys later